What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube universe? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon 11970 Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. And, uh, yeah, this has been a pretty interesting day. Um, I've gotten my first, as close as I can to, a viral video that I've ever had. And I found it really strange. I didn't understand it at first, because about it started about a day and a half ago, where all of a sudden, this one particular video, and I'll post the link, um, was all of a sudden getting comment after comment. And I thought every now and then you'll have um, two people, they'll go back and forth, like somebody will say something and they'll go and argue, and they'll just go back and forth. So that's what it was, so I didn't pay any attention. Then all of a sudden, I started getting dozens of subscribers, like over 150 to 200 in the past two days. So I'm like, what's going on? So then I go and look at some of the emails, and it was, it was the video I made back in March, about the um, patent for the cure for AIDS. And for the longest time, it had probably about 1,200, 1,300 views. So I checked it this afternoon, and it was up to 30,000 views. So I was like, wow, that's, I guess, maybe somebody showcased it or something. And then I just looked a few minutes ago before I started this. It's now at 47,033 views. So from 2 o'clock this afternoon till now, which is about roughly around 7 p.m. roughly, Eastern Standard Time, it went up 17,000 views in the span of a few hours. And I was just blown away by this, but I guess it should be a good thing because it's getting the message out. Now, a couple people made comments about it saying that, well, just because something's patented doesn't mean that it works. And that is absolutely true. But if you actually research, because one of the things in the patent they talk about is silver. And if you know anything about silver, especially colloidal silver, silver has antibacterial properties. I mean, they use them in sports clothing these days. They use them in deodorants. They use them in Band-Aids. They use them in medical equipment. And back in the days before um, refrigerators, they used to put a silver coin. If you drop the silver coin, a pure silver coin, in milk, it would keep it from spoiling. That's one of the reasons why silverware was once actual silver and not just the steel they use today because silver... It doesn't, it doesn't grow bacteria. So the fact that they put that in there legitimizes it as something that is at least a potential to look into. But the fact that they don't mention it, it leads people to at least question it. And the purpose of my videos are to make people question things. So all the new people that subscribed, I welcome you. I am so glad the message is getting out, whether you agree with it or not. And obviously if you subscribed, most people agreed because as far as the likes on it, it had 1,719 likes and only 71 dislikes. So I think there were probably 47 of them to begin with when I first made the video. So not a lot of people are disagreeing. But to the new people that are visiting my channel, I thank you. And I hope you check my other videos out because I dedicate this channel to trying to awaken people and learning what's going on. Uh, I've learned a lot over the years. I do a lot of research. It doesn't mean I get everything right. Um, but I value people's opinions as long as they're respectful and not just nasty name calling. And I am glad at least one of my videos got out there. I mean, my, my first popular, most popular video is the truth about the United States law and you, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you watch it, but that's been around for over a year and it's got 60, I think 62,000 views. This has been a less than three months. And in the span of a couple of hours, it went up 17,000 views. It is now my second most viewed video ever. So I kind of had like a little feeling of what it must feel like to be some of those bigger um, YouTubers where you just look and it's like goes up by the thousands every time you check it. It's amazing. Um, I could definitely see people having fun with that. So I enjoyed it. Um, I hope more people share my videos and whoever got that message out. So somebody obviously had to post it somewhere big for that many people to check it out. So whoever did it, I thank you. And that's what I'm talking about, how things can change in an instant where all of a sudden you go from just a blase blah day, just an every, every kind of day, and all of a sudden things can change. Now, this doesn't mean my video is going to change the world, but if it changes the outlook on some person who never even knew it existed, then it gets the ball rolling. It gets people to talk about it. It gets people to at least question it why they're hiding these things. And like I said, if you don't know about colloidal silver, I highly re recommend 
that you start researching and see what kind of healing benefits that they that silver actually has. So there's more to because my channel talked it used to talk a lot about gold and silver and I still do on occasion, but like I've always said, there's more to silver than just making coins out of it. Research and learn. So to all the new people, I welcome you. I value your opinions. Um, the only thing I ask is just be respectful. I don't want people coming here cursing and making fun of or attacking other people. Um, it doesn't mean you have to agree. Just do it in a respectful way we can all learn. And um, I want this channel to grow. And if you're new to this channel, I also have um, a Facebook page. So if you have Facebook and you want to join a part of a community where people talk about all this stuff on a regular basis, uh, just hit Barnon 11970 in the search engine of your Facebook and it will come right to it. Just hit like and uh, join the group. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll post a link for that video if you haven't seen it. If you want to see it, just to keep an eye on the amount of uh, views that it goes up. And uh, I'm just going to enjoy the ride. So hopefully I'll get more videos that get that message out and people start talking about it. Because it's not always about right or wrong. Because, again, a truth is just nothing more than a person's perception. Whether you're right or you're wrong, you're right. But if it gets you at least talking then that's a step in the right direction. The time to be silent is just, it's way overdue. We can't do with that anymore. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to leave a comment, like, and share. And if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you part of the Barnon Nation. Peace, everybody.